Hi, welcome back. So today we are doing a video on um, separating pups from the mother plant. Um, the smaller ones I will be putting in four inch um, little plastic pots and then um, I have a few bigger ones in here that I will put in six inch and it's really easy steps to it it's nothing serious just basically when you go in to separate them you want to try and take out the pup with as much roots as you can and then you can set it to the side and go ahead and do the others this here's another one so this is a pretty good one and then if they're smaller you can leave them because they're probably not ready to be separated from their mother but yeah that's all there is to it so that one and then we'll fill this up with soil and place it in there and I'll show you guys that I'm going to use Ooh, happy frog soil to put them in before I this is the same aloe that I did a video on on harvesting leaves from and I showed you in that video the um, pups that were growing about a year ago I will attach the video um, below so that way you guys can uh, go back and see on how to harvest leaves if you need to um, so here it is and I'm just gonna put some soil in there to try to support it <laughs> it's kind of hard without a table right here and fill it cover the roots and get it in there and you want to kind of pat down to help hold the aloe in place so it's not floppy and I'll show you guys as I get it. And we will water it in to make sure it's nice and gets acclimated to its new home without its mommy. So, there it is. It's a little wobbly still, but once we water it and get it to start rooting through that soil, it'll start holding its place. And that's about the length the height I have it is right underneath the last leaf so let's do the other one we've pulled out soil in there get you a good hole get those roots in that hole and put the plant in and just like that that pup is in there. A little bit more so. Okay. And you're just going to do that for as many as you want to pull out. Ooh, hitting the camera with this big old beauty. That's, mom, that's the mama. She's a mama for sure. <laughs> and gave me lots of pups. I'm trying to get it around so you guys can see the pups. Very good. And there it is. She delivered. 
All right, so that's basically all you do. You just go in and pull it out, and you want to get as many roots as you can with it. Like that one is tough because it's an older one. So let's see. This one got little roots, may not survive, but we'll still pot it and see what we can do. Alright guys, so here are how they're looking. The ones that I have potted. This is one of the bigger ones that I have placed in the 6 inch pot. And the smaller ones, of course, that you saw. So we did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. And we have one, Jesus, two, three, four, five, six more to go for the aloe. And I have to find pots though, but yes. Alright guys, this is a few days later and I'm just showing you all of them. We ended up with four big ones and five little ones. So a total of nine. Yay! This is just an updated video for you guys to see them um, a little days later. Today is the 29th. And this is how they are looking. Basically, all I've been doing since I've repotted them is water them every three days. They've been sitting in my garage. They sit under this light here. You can't see it because it's bright, but it's like a LED light. And yeah, that's it. So, see you guys in the um, next clip. Aloe is good for hair, face, skin, cuts, burns. Um, it's just a good plant to keep on hold inside your home. Um, and the way that how I was able to get pups was to uh, keep the mother plant kind of root bound at first. And then when you see it start pushing off at least one pup, um, if you just have to repot it because it's falling over in the pot that it currently is in, go ahead and switch it over because aloe do not mind um, their roots being uh, very tight. So if you have an aloe and it's root bound, you can really ignore it. Um, I only water my aloe maybe once every two weeks, if that, maybe once a month. Um, during the summertime, I put them outside in a partly shaded um to sun area um so and then in the winter time or fall when it starts getting um cooler outside i bring them inside um i have two inside my house and this big massive one of i keep in the garage because it's just massive and i don't I mean, and the other two are just getting just as big as this one. And one of them is pushing off two pups at right now. So, yeah, you get you one plan and you can multiply to many, as you can see. So, um, you just pretty much you can neglect your aloe um, and just keep them in medium to um, low light inside your house. Um, and then in the summertime, put them outside so they can get that good warmth, that good sun, um, and just water them. I don't, uh, fertilize them. I just give them sun and water and then inside, whatever natural light comes in through my house is all they get. And yeah, this is what I have and I am very pleased with these plants. Um, I've had this aloe particularly maybe three to four years now and then the other two maybe two years um so yeah all we're gonna do is water these um aloes in so they can start taking root into their new soil and getting used to being on their own and then i'll find some pots for the other um pups that i have in here and give my give the mama a break from being inside 
with all those babies she sh should be happy to get back to being on her own so thank you guys for coming and watching and i hope this video is helpful to you guys um if you have questions drop them down below and to see you guys when you come back